All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this one over with. Um, well, we, we, we beat some ass out there today. We looked really good and still feels like a, a funeral. Um, if, if you watch the game and, and you have a general understanding of football, you know why. But um, So let's start with the game. Uh, Seahawks win 42-7. Uh, it was the biggest blowout this team has had in their favor since beating Denver in the Super Bowl actually pretty much we had a couple blowouts last year but this one was a pretty big one so the team played really really good for the most part um, offensively offensive line played okay I'm not gonna say they played great they committed a couple penalties they they missed some blocking assignments they, they, they weren't perfect by any means Wilson made a couple of very dumb throws in this game um, the first drive of the game, he tried a shovel pass to Jermaine Curse that should have been picked off. He threw a pick that was terrible. He made a couple other bad decisions, but um, when he was on, he was on. He made some really good throws in this game. He made a great throw to uh, Doug Baldwin on, in the fourth quarter. Uh, made a couple nice throws to Jimmy Graham. Uh, hit Tyler Lockett down the field a couple times. Hit uh, Nick Vanette up the seam. He played played fine other than those handful of plays where you know disaster is just a beat away and the running game the running game is the main takeaway from when you when you come away from this game Thomas Rawls played phenomenally um, behind an offensive line that by the way is going to screw you over on a handful of your rushes you're going to just be stuck with your you know two yard loss three yard loss on a couple of those plays because of the offensive line missing their assignments, but Rawls played great. He had a couple of big plays. He grinded out first downs. He he did everything you would want a player like Thomas Rawls to do. And um, he did get a some kind of concussion in, at some point in this game. Um, I, I can't remember exactly how it happened, but it seems like he's going to be okay. So really hoping that's the case. Um, Let's see here. It was just a you know good all-around game by the offense, especially the rushing attack. Uh, Tyler Lockett had a couple of big plays today. He hasn't really had those this season, so it was great to see him bust a 75-yard reverse and a 40-yard reception. Um, yeah, offense, give him an A. Really, really solid stuff. And hey, Jermaine Curse made a couple plays. Still don't approve. Nine targets. Tied for the lead on the team. Don't approve. Doug Baldwin was awesome. Jimmy Graham made a couple nice catches. He dropped a touchdown, but he made up for it later. Um, this was the kind of offensive effort we needed to see if we want to have confidence going forward. Defense. Defense was money. They gave up one big play, which had extenuating circumstances that I'm about to get into. And other than that, it was, it was really good, guys. I mean, we... Carolina spent a lot of this game in max protect because they were so afraid of our pass rush. So our pass rush didn't do that much in this game, but their options on offense were so limited that other than that one big 60-yard or 55-yard play to Ted Ginn, yeah, 55 yards, they couldn't really do much of anything the whole game. Um, Jonathan Stewart had one long run when the game was effectively over. Uh... Ted, like I said, Ted Ginn had the one long catch. Devin Funches had one good play. Greg Olson had one big play. Other than that, they they were really just getting nothing on us. And Bobby Wagner, KJ Wright, we need those guys more than ever right now to play like big time superstars. And they did, especially KJ Wright, who had a great game tonight, probably his best game of the season. Uh, Mike Morgan, first play of the game, comes up with a big uh, interception. Cam Chancellor played great. Deshaun Shedd, first game back from an injury, looked great out there. So much better than what we were throwing out there in his absence. So good to see that. Jeremy Lane. You know, Jeremy Lane, I was hard on him at the start of the season because he wasn't playing well, but he's come around and he's been playing good the last several games, I think. Richard Sherman shutting down his side of the field pretty much the entire game. We forced two turnovers in this game. We could have easily forced four or five others. We let a couple turnover opportunities slip through, but you give up seven points against a Carolina offense that is not that good, but it's still an NFL offense. you got to come away feeling really good about that.
you want a few more turnovers, you want to um, capitalize on some of those opportunities a little more, but yeah, those two units played great. Special teams, we made all our field goals. Tyler Lockett had a long punt, uh, kick return. Um, kickoff coverage was good. The special teams was solid, which it really hasn't been this season. Um, special teams has been very, very flawed this whole season, and today it was as good as it's been all year. So it was a great effort by this team, but the flag has to fly at half-mast right now because um, in between all the great stuff that this team did today, um, Earl Thomas decidedly, something decidedly not cool happened today, um, tonight. Friendly fire, he's going across the field trying to make an interception that I'm sure he would have made if not for him running into Cam Chancellor and breaking his tibia, I think it's called, out for the season, almost definitely his first career major injury, and he's clearly completely devastated because this is his life, football is his life, this means so much to him, and um, it even had him thinking like retirement, which I'm sure is just him exaggerating because the injury news just hit him. And he's so devastated that there's going to be football and he's not going to be able to play in the games because that's how he defines himself as a player. But um, it's devastating right now. And if you've been following this team for the last several years like me, I, I mean, I've been following this team since 1996, but ever since Earl Thomas got here, he's just really meant something to this team. I mean, back in his rookie season, he, uh, he had five picks that year and he started every game and was immediately a big-time impact player for us on a team that wasn't very good, but <clears throat> they um, they did make the playoffs that year. Um, and Earl Thomas means something to this team in a way that only really Marshawn Lynch was able to match um, in during that period of time where he was just the heart and soul of the team. And even in the games where you didn't notice him very much, it was still so important to have him on the roster and... You know, fuck. What what else? What else can you say? Um, you know, it's a violent sport, and people, big time players, are dropping every week. I mean, you know, Rob Gronkowski's out for the season now too. Who Earl hits? So, you know, you can form connections like that all the time. Um, you go around the league, you're gonna find more players who who one unlucky play and their seasons are done. But um, it, it's not cool right now. And Stephen Terrell, he's not a bad player. He's not a bad player at all. I, I, I was happy with the way he played last week. Um, he gave he was part of the problem on the 55-yard touchdown from Carolina today, but I thought he played good after that. And I'm not going to kill a guy for coming off the bench cold and giving up a big play. That's common. But it's not cool right now. Earl is um, so important to this team. And... It sucked missing him for one game. Missing him for the rest of the season is really going to suck. I know I'm talking about this part of it a lot, and I shouldn't, because we just murdered Carolina on national TV. But I hope he's back for the start of next season, is all you can say. And, you know, teams fight through this kind of stuff every year. Um, you know, the um, Broncos won the... Broncos won the Super Bowl last season miss, with two different starting quarterbacks, and they uh, missed uh, Demarcus Ware for parts of the season. They missed, uh, you know, it's stuff you all got to come back from. So it's not cool right now, not just for what this team loses, but just for not having Earl Thomas around because whatever pro football focus wants to say, he's as good as it gets at the uh, free safety position. All right. We we beat some ass out there. Don't 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 ignore that fact. We played great tonight. This was one of the most complete games of the season. And I know Carolina is a bad team, but let's not get away from that. It, it's tough to totally focus on that right now, though. Anyway, eight three and one, six and zero at home. We got four games left. If we win out, we got we got the bye week for sure. We can probably drop a game or two, but. Things look good right now for this team, but um, we got to march on without one of the best of us. All right, guys. I'll see you later.